Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom professionals. I'm Carl Sketchley, and joining me today is John Barenbrook, Director of Product Management at Starline, a brand of Legrand, North and Central America. John, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, thanks for having me, Carl. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. So, John, we have some big news about you today. You're now officially a part of the iMasons IM100 list, an award given to those making an impact in digital infrastructure. How does it feel to be an award recipient? <laughs> uh, honestly, it's uh, it's humbling. Uh, it's a little embarrassing. Um, you know, and I say that because I, I know here at Legrand, uh, there are so many people that enabled this to happen. I mean, there's so many people working behind the scenes, uh, you know, working on the projects and doing these things. So it's it's an award. I'm, I'm privileged and honored to get it, of course, but it's it's really it's really about everybody that I work with. Uh, more so. Amazing. So then let's have a big uh, shout out then to the rest of the team. Um, and John, I understand then your contributions to the industry have centered around innovation and sustainability. So I'd like to ask you two questions in each category. So let's talk innovation first. Um, so you've worked closely with global entities on AI and HPC deployments, developing next generation power distribution models. With the rapid evolution of these technologies, what do you see as the biggest challenges for power distribution in data centers over the next five years? And how is Starline preparing to meet those demands? Yeah, I, so it's, I mean, that's what everybody would love to know. And I think if we look back over the last two years, it gives us a little indication of maybe what the next five years would look like. And so the rapid rise of deployments in AI and where we've gone from a power density is where I would say the biggest challenges lie. Um, and it's really, it really becomes a physics problem. And so if you think about 20 years ago, we were at three or five KW per rack, pretty easy to do. Um, it seems like almost overnight we were getting requests for 20 KW per rack, which was a huge step up. And then, and then today it's not uncommon to get 80, 80 to 120 KW per rack. So it's really, uh, it's been really quite extreme. And, and then, and so new topologies like sidecars, uh, meaning that racks just built for power next to just racks for compute uh, may be the future. And so a lot of those challenges and how we distribute power to those racks are gonna be, I think, what's, what's gonna drive change. I see. So speaking of power, let's talk about the remote plugin actuator and the M70 critical power monitor. Um, so with data centers leveraging those increasingly higher power supplies while also facing personnel shortages, it seems like safety is quickly becoming a key issue. So how would those products that I just mentioned contribute to creating safer environments for data center personnel? Um, so you know i'll take them one at a time so the the m70 is a is a premium energy monitor um but it's not only an energy monitor it has you know different types of sensors and accessories you can add to it such as you know breaker monitor breaker status monitors um, temperature monitors so you can have all sorts of safety alarms and set points and so it can automatically let you know if, if any of your voltage current uh temperatures, breakers are tripped, anything like that. So from that standpoint, it, it's very helpful for end users uh, in their environments. Uh, and the RPA is really sort of a revolutionary safety device. So um, you can, you know, attach your, our, our, our electrical plug-in boxes and then step out of any arc flash zones. And the reason that's really important now is because those topologies are changing uh, there's higher incident energies in data centers today. And it, it's not like it was, as I mentioned, you know, five, even five years ago. So those sorts of safety technologies can really make an impact. Amazing. Amazing. So let's talk then about sustainability as well. Uh, so your efforts to advance product environmental profiles have made Starline an early adopter in sustainable transparency. And I think uh, about 70% of your products are covered. So what impact do you see 
uh, PEP is having on the industry and how do they help customers make more sustainable decisions? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we work with some of the biggest customers in the industry and, and we know they have really big, aggressive sustainability goals. And, and you can pick any of the any of the big customer names, you know, any of the data center industry names that, that are driving those goals. And so what they really want to know is, you know, you have to have a baseline to improve upon. And so and so PEPs or product environmental profiles set a baseline for your carbon, pro, uh, your carbon footprint for how much it takes to manufacture uh, those products and, and what their life cycle is like as well. So when you have a choice um, for a product, it's really impactful that we can tell you uh, exactly what the carbon footprint of our products are. And so as a baseline, that's a great starting point because if you can measure it, you can improve it. I see. And speaking of measurement and data, your initiatives such as reducing packaging by 200 tons annually and advocating for circular materials seems to showcase a deep commitment to sustainability. So what inspired this focus and how do you envision these efforts shaping the broader data center industry? Well, in general, Legrand wants to be known as, as one of the most sustainable companies on the planet. And so that's part of our core culture. Uh, but more selfishly, it's really good practice. Um, it's really good business practice. And so, you know, circular economies, you know, we, we um, rent, we can rent equipment and, and refurbish it and, and really help our customers and help ourselves at the same time. So, you know, those, those practices make a lot of sense, uh, you know, both from an environmental standpoint, which we, we all have a passion for at Legrand. And, and really from a dollars and cents standpoint. So I think those two things, you know, oftentimes get confused and, and say, oh, those, those can't go together. But from the way we view it, they, they do. And so that really drives uh, what we do. I see. I see. Well, that's all the time we have today. John, thank you so much for coming on JSA TV. That's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, Carl. Awesome. And thank you viewers for tuning in. And as always, happy networking.